Hello everyone and welcome to Saka Learning Systems. Today we are going to be presenting a drama play for you all. The name of our drama play is The Enchanted Princess. Now I request everyone to come forward one by one and introduce yourself. My name is Ayan and I am playing the role of farmer. I have two sons, Alexander and Ernest. Hello everyone. Today I am playing the role of farmer's arrogant son, Ernest. Hello everyone. My name is Akshat and I am playing the role of farmer's innocent son, Alexander. Hello everyone. My name is Shreman and today I am playing the role of the old lady who is guarding the castle. Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was an old farmer who had two sons, Alexander and Ernest. Alexander, where are you? You lazy boy. Here I am, father. I am fixing the fence. You should answer as son, as I talk to you. Where is Ernest? I don't know, father. Ernest, where are you? I need you. Don't bother me, old man. I'm talking to my friends. I'm sorry, Ernest. Alexander, keep working on the fence while I go to town. Yes, father, I will keep working on it. While the farmer was going to the town, he thought, My business is not going very well. I have to do something before we go broke. Oh, I feel hungry. Meanwhile, I eat in that hotel. It's his friend Subman in the hotel and Subman starts a conversation. Do you know the witch took away the king's daughter and she's locked up in a castle? The guards are a dragon and an old lady. An old lady? Yes, an old lady. The man who wishes to rescue the princess has to overcome Three tests. The people say that they are very hard. And those who don't pass the test are eaten by a dragon. And what happens if someone passes those three tests? The man will marry the princess, will own the castle and its treasure, and the witch will die. Then the farmer thought, He will marry the princess and he will be the king. What are you thinking, my friend? Come on, I want my son Ernest to pass three tests and marry the princess. Can you help me, him, with that? If your son can do it, then I can help him with that. We need to buy him a sword and a horse. A few days later, Ernest rode his horse to the enchanted castle. He passed through an ant nest, destroying the ants, and then he drank some water from a lake where there were some little ducks. He called them and treated them badly. Fin Finally, he saw a beehive and using his sword, he destroyed it. At last, he arrived to the castle. Subman, who was with him, felt very bad about Ernest's behavior and went back to complain to the farmer. Ernest reached the castle. 
I'm finally here. Then he knocked at the door and started shouting. Open this door. Open this door immediately. How dare you do this to me? Don't make me wait. It's me, Ernest. Open the door or I will break it. Finally, an old lady with a sweet voice opened the door. Who was knocking? Who's knocking? I have been here for almost an hour. Are you deaf? Oh, no, I'm not deaf. I have to rescue the princess. I have to be the king. Wait, wait. Till tomorrow morning. You will need to go through three tests first. Ernest had to sleep under a tree. Next morning, the old lady came to him. Now tell me, which tests are those? I'm not afraid of anything. Are you sure? How dare you talk to me like that? What do I have to do? Who will destroy me, please? You don't have to destroy anybody. I am throwing to the ground some sunflower seeds. Go by the way, you know, and put them inside this bag in only one hour. Oh, I have to pick up all those little seeds and put them in the bag? Do you think I am crazy? What kind of test is this? Back in the and the old lady left. Impossible. I can't pick up all the seeds. This is not a test, so I will just take a nap. When the old lady returned, she proposed the second test. She threw 12 golden rings into a deep lake. You have to pick them up. In an hour. I am not crazy. The water is deep and cold. I would get sick. <laughs> You're not doing so well. My dear, but let's go to the third test. Follow me to the test. Or let's go. When they arrived to the castle, they went into a dark room. Then... The old lady said, In that corner, there are three silhouettes covered with a white sheet. You will have one hour to tell me where the princess is. If your guess is right, then she will be free. But if not, I don't want to waste any time. I chose one on the right. The one on the right. And cover yourself. A dragon chase. Oh no, a dragon? No, 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 no. Hell, hell. A dragon chased Ernest <laughs> all through the castle until his screams couldn't be heard anymore. Meanwhile, in the farmer's house. My friend, I'm so disappointed. What happens? Happens, someone? Where is my son Ernest? You told that your son Ernest will pass the test, but his behavior was not good. He has no humanity over insects and birds. He was destroying everything. How can you make him a king? I'm sorry, someone. I did not expect this from him. But what can we do now? I think my son Alexander is very good. By heart, he can save the princess. Your son 
Alexander? Yes, Oman. He is very good boy, but I have not treated him well. So I thought uh, at last now he should get the best in his life. You take him with you. Okay, I'll take him with you. Alexander only took a piece of bread and went on foot to the enchanted castle with Subman. The journey was hard and long and that night they decided to rest under the a tree. Next morning, when they woke up, they saw an ant nest and many ants were trying to rebuild it. Oh, poor ants! Who destroyed your nest? Maybe it was my brother. I will help you to rebuild your nest. What are you doing, Alexander? Uncle, give me five minutes. I will help the ants build their nest. And then we will proceed further. Someone was happy for what Alexander did when Alexander finished, he walked towards a leaf to drink some water. There he saw some little ducks swimming. Oh, poor ducks, you must be hungry. Take this piece of bread. You are a very good boy, Alexander. You are not like your brother. Thank you, Uncle. The little ducks are ants, the piece of bread. Then he saw a bee. He Hive on the ground. He picked it up and put it over a tree and they continued their journey to the enchanted castle. When they arrived, Alexander knocked at the door. What do you want, my dear? I am sorry to bother you, but I would like to rescue the princess. You can try, but if you fail, you know what will happen to you. Yes, I know, but I believe that I can save the princess. Okay, let's see. Then... The old lady spread on the ground the sunflower seeds and left. You can gather all those seeds, there are too many. But I will try my best to do it, Uncle. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five minutes. Later, Alexander was about to give up. Then he heard a strong noise. The ants had come to help him. They were grateful because he had helped them rebuild their ant nest. See, Alexander, you had helped them, and they are here to help you. Thank you, my good friends. Now the bag is full of seeds again. The 
Then the old lady came back. Now you have to go through the second test. Look, you have to catch these 12 rings. The old lady threw the rings into the water. Thank you. Alexander went into the water, but it was too cold and too deep, and he couldn't catch any rain. Then he saw something moving inside the water. They were the ducks who had came come to help him because he shared with them his bread. Thank you, my good friends. Now I have all 12 rings. Alexander, how did you take all these rings? Uncle, my friend's ducks helped me. When he got out of the water, he went straight to see the old lady. Oh, good, Alexander. Now follow me. The old lady explained Alexander about the third test. When he was looking at the three Selhats, he couldn't figure out which one was the princess. They all look the same. Think, Alexander, think. Which one is the princess? I don't know which one to choose. Suddenly, hundreds of bees entered to the window and flew around the middle cell hut. Oh, the one in the middle. It's the middle one and I hope I am right. Oh, the middle. The one in the middle, uncover yourself. The white sheet fell to the ground and the princess appears. Alexander and Subman was so happy. The princess thanked him for rescuing her. You are a great man, Alexander. I need to tell this to your father. Come, we will go to your house. Princess Alexander and Subman went to meet the farmer. Oh, my son, I am so proud of you. You have made me really happy. You are very brave. Sorry I have treated you very badly. No, father, I am always fond of you. I have always respected your words. Great. Now, shall we meet the king and let him know that his daughter is free and let these two get married and live happily ever after? The end. The moral of the story is do good to others and others will do good to you. Thank, Thank you. you.